We have yet a new solar storm warning. Earth is on high alert as two big flares are said to be ejected from the sun. This seems to be happening every week now. This is a new solar storm warning from Space Weather. Issued as experts say, at least two major flares are poised to be launched from the sun. Dr. Timatha Skov, space weather physicist, warned of a potential solar flare, saying no big Earth-directed storms yet, but we're on high alert. Several sunspot clusters are in Earth view right now. At least two big flares, players, but none have launched anything significant. Dr. Skov also said that certain solar winds may result in beautiful auroras being displayed over the skies in various parts of the world, including in the UK. So we'll have auroras in the North and South Pole. She said it looks like the pocket of fast solar wind from the small coronal hole is overperforming. We should enjoy a bit of aurora over the next few hours at least, she said. And what a great holiday I'll day to give for those in the UK, Iceland, in the north, possibly east coast of Canada, if these conditions last. These so-called coronal holes are regions in the sun's corona, the upper atmosphere. That's where the plasma is considerably cooler, less dense than the surrounding areas. And depending on their severity, solar storms can have a wide variety of uh, an array of impacts on the planet. According to U.S. Space Weather Center, and we're going to see that now, solar storms are ranked on a scale of G1, which is minor, to G5, which is extreme, with the latter being the most dangerous. And minor storms can result in weak power grid fluctuations as well, having an impact on satellite operations. Weak storms are also known to confuse some migratory animals, and can produce auroras at high altitudes. But as their severity increases, so does their potential impact on terrestrial and orbital technology. A G3 storm, for example, can lead to surface charging on satellites and drag may increase on low Earth orbit spacecraft. And at the far end of the scale, extreme storms can cause entire power grids to collapse and transformers may experience damage as well. And also, satellite degradation is degraded and low-frequency radio signals can be blocked for hours at a time. And this is on uh, Express UK by Anthony Ashkenazi. And now concerning space weather. Now, one of the solar flares that came in today caused a blackout over the uh, South Atlantic, as you can see here in the map. And uh, an M1 flare will be, an M1 class uh, flare will be coming in uh, so we have to stay tuned. A lot of people in the North and South Poles will be able to see auroras. Finally, support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And here we are on Space Weather, Earth-Directed Solar Flare. These are the sunspots, as we can see. AR 2907, 2906, 212, 2907, right there, has a beta gamma magnetic field, harbors energy for M class solar flares. What is an M class solar flare? Solar flares exposing the sun happens energy stored in twisting magnetic fields. Flares produce a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to X rays and even gamma rays. Now, scientists classify solar flares according to their X-ray brightness in the wavelength range 1 to 8 angstroms. There are three categories. X-flares are big. they are major events that can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. This here, we're talking about the M-flare. are medium size. They can cause brief radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions. Minor radiation storms sometimes follow M-class flare. Compared to X and M class events, C class flares are small with few noticeable consequences on Earth. And here figure shows solar flares detected by NOAA July 2020. Category, uh, each category for X flare has nine subdivisions, as we said. Okay, so the figure above is indicate flares from left to right, X2, M5, and X6. The X6 flare triggered a radiation storm around Earth nicknamed Bastille Day event. Amazing. So um, this will be this could give an M-class flare. 
Now this Earth directed solar flare directly facing Earth, sunspot AR92908. 2908 is in there as well. So we have three, three flares there. This is 2908, producing M1 to 9 class solar flare today. A pulse of X-rays ionize the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a minor shortwave radio blackout over the South Atlantic Ocean. And let's see the map. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it caused a, a blackout over the South Atlantic uh, Ocean right there. This is what happened today. Okay, with the uh, M1 flare. Now, study, stay tuned, he says, for updates about the possible CME emerging from the blast site. Uh, I received an alarm about the solar flare, says Pepe Manteca of Barcelona, Spain, so I was able to quickly mount my Lunt 152, and here are the images, he says. Amazing. Also caught, he says, Francois Rouvier from Cannes, France, also caught the sunspot in mid-flare. Amateur astronomers with solar filters should remain prepared because more flares are in the offing. Stay tuned, they said. And surprising geomagnetic storms, Arctic sky watchers, and this is what they, when the G1 Claire class geomagnetic storm broke off the official forecast. Little bit did we know we would get a great display of auroras. Amazing. This is from Tromso, Norway. And, um, okay, pink flares, green bands, purple dancing, anything you would want we got last night, he said. So, um, amazing. We may be getting an M1 flare from these. There's not two. There seems to be three there. But, um, so we have to stay tuned. Be careful and be alert. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.